Christmas is over, and the last week of December means one thing, the start of the annual Times Christmas Basketball Tournament. It's so meaningful to our state and our city, and it, it just defines basketball in the state, and, and North Alabama is where basketball is. That's the capital. This year will feature one player who made his debut in the Classic five years ago, Butler's Justin Cootie Pride. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing against big crowds all my life, man, and that's just what I do. And when I got a crowd, I feast off there or whatever. You know, I try to get a crowd what they want and just give them a show. Pride, or as all of his fans and friends call him, Cootie, started his first Classic as an eighth grader from Stone Middle School. Coach Doss remembers the first time he knew he had something special in pride. The main thing I remember about Justin as an eighth grader when he came in, we brought him up, I think the third game, and, uh, and they called us playing a tournament in Spain Park, and they needed a team, so they called us up, and they knew we were going to be very good. And first game we played in Hillcrest, a 6A number one team. And so Justin said, I want to guard their best player. And he was all state and went on division one and shut him down and we beat Hillcrest and went, went on to win that championship and then went on to win the state championship. So for the past four years he's had the pleasure of playing with Trevor Lacey, Mr. Basketball in the state of Alabama for two years in a row and now a point guard at the University of Alabama. This year, however, Pride is without Lacey and has become much more of a score than in the past. First four years I ain't really had to score. I mean I, I could but there wasn't no point in me when you got the best scorer in the state. And, uh, so I just took the back to the side score when I have to and get him the ball basically. But this year, I just kind of try to pick up a little slack, uh, scoring, and um, become a uh, playmaker at, at times too. Pride is a player that knows how to get to the rim with his crafty ball handling, and it did not come naturally. My mom bought me a ball on um, one Christmas, and I just did it where I go. I dribble in the street, but when I'm in the gym, I, I hardly work on it or whatever. You know, I just try to get my shot, develop, uh, you know, mid-range or whatever. But when I'm on the street, that's all I do is pat the ball, just pat it. It's in my jeans, but uh, it started back in Mason Court, uh, you know, down the street, whatever, playing on the black top against older guys. They pushing me around bullying because I'm always the youngest one. But yeah, I just built off there, and I just, I just had one morning, I just woke up and said, man, I want to get better. I want to be good at what I do or whatever. And I uh, basically eat, and I want, I want to go to college, and I want to be successful or whatever. And I was just thinking this could be one of the, one of my ways of being successful. Justin's, like I said, is. It's so exciting. He's the most electric player I've ever coached. I guess when I found out Coach Dawson was coming back, I was kind of excited, you know, whatever, because he was supposed to retire. And I was thankful for that, for him coming out of retirement, because he didn't have to, whatever. So I was just thankful. He's probably double the gray hairs on my head, but uh, again, like I said, Justin, there's nobody plays any harder than Justin. And, he, and you have to look over some of the things that, uh, like I said, he tries to, to carry too much load sometimes, but, uh, you know, that's a good thing.